Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. A famous athlete once said, life is like a swimming pool. You dive into the water, but you can't see how alkalotic it is. Er, uh, did he say you can't see how deep it is? Anyway, we're headed to the water fun park. And yes, that's fun with a pH, where we'll look at simple acid-base disorders and their compensatory responses. We'll drop by the lemonade stand to discuss metabolic and respiratory acidosis, then go poolside to dip into the basics of metabolic and respiratory alkalosis. But first, let's test the waters by looking at normal values for blood pH, plasma bicarbonate, and partial pressure of carbon dioxide. Under normal physiologic conditions, the lungs and kidneys do a great job of maintaining the pH of blood within a normal range of 7.35 to 7.45. And it just so happens that the normal pool hours here at the park are 7.35 to 7.45. Oddly specific, but it gets the point across. Looks like the day started way too early for this snoozing ticket clerk. He's catching some serious open mouth disease while cozied up next to a box of baking soda, our recurring symbol for bicarbonate, to help you remember that the normal range for plasma bicarbonate is 22 to 28 milliequivalents per liter. As for arterial PCO2, 33 to 45 millimeters of mercury is normal. Definitely more normal than this smoking swim instructor holding a free class flyer. And when we say smoking, we mean literally smoking, because smoke is our recurring symbol for carbon dioxide, though nothing against our scantily clad friend here. Now, let's dip our toes in and talk about acidosis and alkalosis. Acidosis, symbolized by this acid-rich lemonade stand, is characterized by an increase in the hydrogen ion concentration in blood, which is why we've marked up the stand with these plus sign lemons. Alkalosis, which we've symbolized by this dark blue alkaline pool, is characterized by a decrease in the hydrogen ion concentration in blood. And see, not a single plus lemon over on the pool side of the park. Abnormalities in the blood pH can further be categorized as metabolic, caused by a primary disturbance in the bicarbonate concentration, or respiratory, a primary disturbance in PCO2. Don't worry, we'll get into both of these soon. But first, to get a better understanding of the relationship between pH, bicarbonate, and carbon dioxide, let's review the henderson hasselbalch equation. This equation states that pH equals 6.1, the dissociation constant of carbonic acid, plus the log of the plasma bicarbonate concentration, divided by 0.03, the solubility coefficient for CO2 in blood, times the partial pressure of arterial carbon dioxide. The important takeaway here is that pH is determined by the ratio of plasma bicarbonate to CO2. 